Hey, buddy. Buddy. Anybody ever tell you you uh, look uh, a lot like a cop I used to know? A guy by the name of uh, Sam Swart? Get in. I'll take you down to the station. Uh, you can meet him. It's only another mile, brother. I'm good. This jogging? It's not like you. Adapt to die. You're either part of the steamroller or you're part of the road. Well, I'm actually part of this car, which is on the road. I'm all right with that. You want a coffee? I take a nice green tea. Uh... How sweet, all right? Don't let him put all that sugar in it. It is Collins, right? Yes, sir. All right, good. Let me take a look at you. All right, gun belt looks good. Radio's in the right place. All right, got a napkin. You packing any napkins? We're going to get in the car. Thank you. We're going to go down to Gerard. You're going to buy me a fresh pressed lemonade, and then we are going to have the talk. talk. Don't listen to them. Okay? <laughs> They're jealous. They're smart asses. They wished they'd had my talk. He promised me two weeks ago that he would stop shooting at raccoons. What are we doing? Hey! Shoot? I will take both of you in if you cannot settle. And I haven't, I don't know the last time I actually cleaned up the back of my squad, so it's really not worth it. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Yes? Great. Oh, partner, what's the 411? None of the neighbors heard anything. There were no gunshots, just, just screaming. Loud, annoying screaming, which is why we got called. Are we going to be coming back here today? No. No? No. Great. Thank you for your time. Are we being punished for something? Police officers, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm. This is what police officers do. I'm going to trip there, pal. Thank you. You're not going to need these. Maybe it's the way you touch me Like the warmth of the sun What? Nothing. That's my rock face. Come on down. You gotta get used to this. Oh, no, I'm used to it. I've had three hours of it. I'm lost in love. You know what? This is my wedding song. I have a little respect. You should have been there. It was a great day. Huh? Whoa. If I find a girl listening to music like this, I'd marry you too. Yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Yes, you are. With you. I gotta take a leak. Bobby? Nah, I'm good. Oliver, don't clean my truck. You know what? Somebody's gotta do it. It looks like you've been living in here. And don't, don't even get me started about your house. It's your idea to crash there, man. Yeah, yeah, and I regretted it from the second that I waded through your front door. Listen, man, this, this is not like you. I want this new me. Yeah, well, the new you needs a cleaning lady, or maybe a girlfriend, or hey, maybe you could start by admitting that you made a mistake leaving your last one. I'm gonna get a coffee. Do you want a coffee? No, yeah, 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 come here. I'm, I'm serious. Sam, I know you don't wanna be alone. You just wanna avoid the hard stuff. And I'll listen, like changing, growing. And let me tell you, you don't grow, you die. You know, that is genuinely cool advice, and I'm gonna return the favor. I'm gonna suggest that you start hosting your own radio talk show. Well, buddy. Well, I think that we must have checked most of the spots on your list. Epstein, no squad car, so maybe we should check the outskirts. Dude, easy, relax. We gotta find that car. We are, we're looking. If I don't find that car, I can't stay with Sue. Okay, wait it. You had me, then you lost me. Can we just go? No. I don't like it when you lose me, Epstein. It makes me feel stupid, which, for the record, I'm not. All right, you said it yourself. More screw-ups land on me than anybody else, right? I'm that guy. Oh, and your girl, Sue, pretty much kicks ass for a living. Pretty much. That's what you're saying? Yeah. And you, on the other hand, had your squad car boosted by a bunch of stupid that's, teenagers. That's exactly right. Can we, can we go? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Does this house look weird to you? We're in suburbia. Every house looks weird to me. Smell. No. That's super skunky. Hmm? This meter's been tampered with. 
you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, what the hell do you get someone for a bronze anniversary? Probable cause. Now give me a hand. Busted a grow up. <gasps> Yoji, we <laughs> busted a grow up. This is cause to celebrate. Yes. We should go shopping. We should buy something. Yes. We should buy shoes. And weapons. Yes, that's it. Weapons and shoes. That is how you celebrate something like this. As I stepped into that building, I could smell there were more. I mean, I was operating on instinct. Pure, raw instinct. It was. Yeah, okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go. I'm sorry I woke you. I love you too. Bye. Huh. Long night, huh? Yeah, yeah. Turned out all right. I don't get it. <laughs> really, I don't, Epstein. You're a um, smart guy, right? You're uh, probably could have gone to law school or be working finance, but uh, you're just playing the angles. You're playing the funny guy. Why are you here? This is all I've ever wanted to do. Okay. So, then, why don't you quit playing this like it's a game? Like it's something that you can win. Okay, because you, you are smart and you're fast and, and you think outside the box and those are all really good things. So, maybe you just you know, slow it down a bit and, uh, and, you, and, and you be that for a while. Night. I was serious about before. We should get our kids together for a play date. Since we're both sticking around this weekend. Toddlers and teenagers don't really have a lot in common. You know that, right? Christian's really mature for his age. Yeah, how old is he? He's two and a half. My kid has blue hair and a nose ring. The hospital is five minutes from here. You know, it's a very, it's a very quick trip. You know that talk you were gonna give me? W what talk? My first day. You said that we were gonna go and get a coffee and you were gonna give me the talk. That's a, that's a long time ago. Not really. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm Oliver. Oliver Shaw will be your training officer uh, until further notice. You don't touch anything in the car until uh, I tell you to. You don't write anything down in your memo book until I tell you to. You don't talk to uh, other people. You look at me first. You do as I say, not as um, I do. Now you probably think right now I'm, I'm being a bit of a hard ass, but if it gets stressed out there, I will be because my... My job is to keep you safe. This crest uh, on my shoulder, this represents you, McNally, and we're, we're both going home today. It's a really good talk.